My name is Roger Danforth. I was here for seven years. I was the literary manager from 1988 to 1994, and then I was the acting artistic director for one season, 94-95. I was actually born in Cleveland. Cleveland was my parents' hometown, but I never lived here. So I was working as a freelance director in New York City when my good friend, Josephine Abadie got the artistic directorship of the Playhouse, and she said to me, aren't you from Cleveland? And I said, oh, because my grandparents lived here and I'd visit them occasionally, but I can't say I knew Cleveland at all. Now, my father didn't really, my father was a golf course superintendent, and so he didn't understand what theater was about at all, and he didn't think it was a very smart thing for me to do, and he didn't really, not that he disapproved, but he wasn't very effusive in his praise for what I had done with my life. Hey, Dad, I'm moving to Cleveland. And he said, You're, he was living in Florida by then. You're moving to Cleveland? I said, yeah, I got a job at the Playhouse. And he said, on 86th Street? And I said, yeah. And he said, oh, I used to deliver mail there. That's a really terrific place. And the way he said it, I felt his estimation for me really come up a whole bunch of notches because the only theater he knew was the Cleveland Playhouse, but the Cleveland Playhouse was really impressive to him, and it really meant something to me. And he died my very first year here, and that's like one of the last conversations we actually had, and it's really stuck with me. Being here was important to me, but it was really important to him. I've been in this room tonight with all these extraordinary people, and it's really people that make a theater, and it's people that have kept this theater going for 100 years. Join us next time for another Centennial Moment.